Here's your daily dose of fitness, food, and fun. Angelica's daily surprise starts now. We are doing our first ever blind taste test. Three vegan chicken wings here. Maybe one of these are better than the real thing. It's a little gooey in the middle. I don't know if you want gooey in a chicken tender. <laughs> I'll finish this off because it's good. Oh. Welcome to my apartment. We're in the kitchen today, which is my favorite place because it usually means that I get to eat. Usually though, I'm cooking up something, but not today. No, we're trying something a little bit different here. We are doing our first ever blind taste test. Now, if you know me at all, you know that chicken wings are my favorite food group. However, I'm looking to explore some meatless options. So we have three vegan chicken wings here, and I wanna see if maybe one of these are better than the real thing. Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna start with our first one. <clears throat> so far, this one looks the best to me. I like the texture here. I don't know, is this like a, a bone? <laughs> is there like a little fake bone in here? Smells good, smells like the real thing. Okay, I'm gonna bite into it. Now, texture and taste are very important to me. That looks like real chicken. Oh, okay. Tastes pretty good. It's got a weird taste off the top, but I know I'm not eating real chicken, so it's normal to me. I'll finish this off because it's good. Good texture, good taste. I like it. Okay. Is it rude to talk with my mouth full? <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this one. It's a little bit saucy. I like the look of it. It's got a different kind of uh, coating on it than this one. This one was more crumbly, crumblier. This one's more like a, like a McDonald's nugget or like an A&W nugget. Oh, Where, where's the chicken? Is this cauliflower? Woof. It's mushy. This tastes like cauliflower. This tastes like a deep flat fried cauliflower. Let me just try another one here. Hmm, okay. Yeah, definitely mushy. I like the taste. I'm not picky. I would eat this. It's a little gooey in the middle. I don't know if you want gooey in a chicken tender. <laughs> good sauce, good taste. Here, paper towel on the floor. Let's move on to the next one, okay. This one, these look like elbows. Strange, very dense. Doesn't look like chicken. This looks like, like a potato wedge or something, but I'm gonna try it. Here I go. Whoa! What the? Oh! This is more like, like a sausage. I'm getting sausage vibes from this. Let me bite into this one here. Yikes. Not good yikes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, again, very sausagey. The sauce is good. Strange aftertaste on this one. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna go back to this one. Okay, so this one's my least favorite, number three. I'm gonna let that one go. I feel like it would be good in a sandwich, but as a standalone, like, chicken replacement for me, probably not gonna make the cut. This one, on the other hand, seems to own the fact that it's like a vegetable which I do, see that? It's definitely cauliflower, I hope it is. Um, 
I like it when meatless products own the fact that they're vegetable based rather than trying to kind of be an imposter, right? Although I will say when it comes to the structure, the structural integrity of this, this one's got me fooled. Mm. Yeah, I could see myself eating this if I was vegan and I was like, I want something that's chicken tender-esque, but I know that it's gonna be a vegetable inside. Okay, <clears throat> back to this. This is my, my current champion here. Yeah, like, are you sure this isn't chicken? This is crazy. Now that I've come back to this, Mm hmm. All right, I'm gonna finish this off and then pick my winner. <laughs> the fact that I'm finishing it kind of tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Quick review. In number three is probably my third place winner. Um, just doesn't look like chicken doesn't feel like chicken. It's like kind of hard and it doesn't taste like chicken. Um, probably my least favorite texture. Second place, number two. Uh, I like, I like that it wasn't trying to be something that it wasn't. <laughs> it looks better than this one. Um, it, it was tasty. It was good. Uh, I wouldn't go to it if I was looking to ha scratch my chicken craving. But this one, on the other hand, number one, this is the closest in every way. Like, it looks like a chicken wing. It tasted like chicken. And it had the best texture. Like, I have, I'm not vegan. However, I'm constantly trying to make like more ethical choices when it comes to eating meat. And I definitely do try to cut down on my meat consumption. And I have a lot of vegan friends. They're starting to outnumber carnivores actually. <laughs> and they're always saying texture, texture, texture is, is what determines their decisions when selecting meatless products. And I have to say like, I'll just take another bite here just to show you. <laughs> Look at that, that looks like chicken. And it's crunchy and it's tasty and it didn't have sauce, but it didn't need it. My favorite, number one. All right, now it's time for the big reveal. What is number one? Where can I find more of it? I'll use my non-saucy fingers here. We have Soul Cuisine, hot and spicy chicken. Plant-based, very good. Should I show the other ones? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. What are these? Holy veggie. Buffalo cauliflower wings. See? Okay. All right. I'm not crazy. The fact that they have it branded as cauliflower wings definitely takes these up in the ranking for me. Because, like I said, they're owning that they're cauliflower. Now, <laughs> who are these people? Mmm. -hmm. Buffalo wings, plant-based wings, field roast. Well, I'm sorry, field roast. You're third on the podium. Definitely like these though. Anyways, I think I'm a changed woman. I would definitely try these again instead of actual chicken. That's been Angelica's Daily Surprise. I'm gonna finish these off. <laughs>